GoToMeeting. This episode of The Young Turks is brought to you by GoToMeeting. Online meetings made easy. I know karate. <laughs> We're on to the WikiLeaks issue and the right-wing reaction to it. Uh, and it is fast and furious, uh, unsurprisingly. First, Sarah Palin's blaming the president. Uh, sh and she's, of course, blaming Julian Assange and WikiLeaks and the original leaker as well. Uh, let's give you her choice quotes from Facebook. She says, first and foremost, what steps were, ta what steps were taken to stop WikiLeaks director Julian Assange from distributing this highly sensitive classified material, especially after he had already published material not once but twice in the previous months? What steps were taken? Um, what we're going to do? Manhunt? We're going to bring, you know, I, I don't know what steps she wanted us to take. Uh, sh maybe shut down his website. And, and I was part of her suggestions. <laughs> That's not what we normally do in a country that has freedom of the press. And plus, he's not even in the country, and he's not a citizen of our country. So I don't know what she wanted us to do, but she's going to give us an idea, because she continues by saying, Assange is, quote, not a journalist, and any more than the quote, editor of Al-Qaeda's new English language magazine, Inspire, is a, quote, journalist. He's an anti-American operative with blood on his hands. His past posting of classified documents revealed the identity of more than 100 Afghan sources to the Taliban. Why was he not pursued with the same urgency we pursue Al-Qaeda and Taliban leaders? So now, if you publish documents that the government does not want the people to see you're the equivalent of a terrorist you're al-qaeda or taliban and you should be hunted down like that this is the america that they want if sarah palin was president she's talking about equating journalists to al-qaeda and hunting them down this is crazy man this is beyond radical right wing but if you think she's bad it just keeps getting worse and worse now let's let watch bill o'reilly on the leaks whoever leaked all those State Department documents to the WikiLeaks website is a traitor and should be executed or put in prison for life. As you may know, classified information is now floating around the globe courtesy of the traitors and this despicable website, which is based in Sweden. The guy who runs the website is a sleazeball named Julian Assange, who is bent on damaging America. Since he's not a U.S. citizen, it's hard for American authorities to move against him, but we can prosecute those who leak the documents to Assange, an Australian. Credible, credibly, President Obama did not speak about the situation today. Instead, he outlined some plans to cut spending. Why the president has remained silent on the WikiLeaks situation is very perplexing. There's no question that leaking secret documents harms a country, even if most of it is predictable, like Saudi Arabia wanting the USA to bomb Iran. Yemen helping us kill al-Qaeda in that country and various heads of state being insulted by various people. But the fact that the USA cannot keep its secrets secret anymore badly damages our intelligence gathering going forward. In this Internet age, some people are simply stealing documents using cyberspace. No country is safe from that kind of exposure. Private First Class Bradley Manning, already under a military arrest for leaking sensitive documents, Manning worked as an Army intelligence analyst and was picked up a few months ago after the first WikiLeaks exposure. If guilty, Manning is a traitor and should be given life at hard labor in a military prison. Every American should be outraged by the situation. And once again, the president is not extending any sense of urgency to the public about it. It's amazing. Why doesn't Mr. Obama just express some outrage? Why is he ignoring it? We live in a dangerous world. We must have secure plans to protect ourselves. But right now, we don't. The whole thing is embarrassing and ultra, ultra disturbing. All right, so not only should he do hard labor for the rest of his life, but as you saw in the beginning there, he said whoever leaked all those State Department documents should be executed. Executed. United States of America. We're having this serious discussion. Look, I, I think that the government has all... Uh, the right in the world to go after the guy who leaked this. We can't have everybody leaking every uh, state secret. Now, I, I might be fascinated by these leaks, and I think that it might, in the long run, certainly do uh, actually good things for our uh, democracy in that we find out how our government actually works and all the things that they're covering up. Uh, that's my opinion, but I get it that the government would want to stop that, and they don't want, of course, uh, all their State Department memos leaked out to the press. Uh, 
So they have a right to take action against Manny. But executed? In the United States of America. These people are are, are radical. And I don't... It's, it's, but the rest of the press treats them as if they're perfectly normal. And here's Mike Huckabee, another presidential contender. That was O'Reilly, and then you had Palin, a presidential contender, comparing journalists to Al-Qaeda. Now here's Huckabee, another both Fox News guy and a presidential contender on the same issue. Whoever in uh, our government leaked that information is guilty of treason. And I think anything less than execution is too kind a penalty. They have put American lives at risk. Uh, they put relationships that will take decades uh, to rebuild uh, at risk. And uh, they knew full well that they were handling sensitive documents. They were entrusted. And anyone who had access to that level of information uh, w was not only a person who understood what their rules were, but they also signed under oath a commitment that they would not violate it. They did. And I believe they, they have committed treason against this country. And any lives they endanger, they're personally responsible for, and the blood is on their hands. And in addition to, to their reckless irresponsibility and act of criminal intent, I think the New York Times has shown an utter reckless disregard for any responsible uh, journalism by printing something that they know that they obtained um, uh, in a way that is not appropriate. All right, so first of all, they're saying the leaker should be executed, right? You heard from O'Reilly and Huckabee. Uh, and then they are saying that Julian Assange is like a terrorist. Uh, that was Sarah Palin. Uh, and, of course, uh, O'Reilly said Assange, and et cetera. So is his execution next after he's hunted down, like Palin said? Uh, and now Huckabee's talking about the New York Times, the fact that they printed it after WikiLeaks sent it over to the press. Are they next for being hunted down and executed? This is as un-American as it gets. Young Turks have a new sponsor, GoToMeetings. Online meetings made incredibly simple. You can set it up in two minutes and you can talk to anyone from anywhere. And it's only $49 a month and it's unlimited. You can actually go to gotomeeting.com slash Turks and get a 30-day trial. I never heard anybody.